If you need level 40, unlimited, limited, clutch time, domination, triple threat, or anything else on your 2K account, grind it, contact Rose NBA on Twitter and let them know X sent you. The best power forwards, we're ranking them in one massive, beautiful tier list right here. So let me know your favorite power forward down in the comment section below. And we're going to start it off nice and fun. Um, we again have two different, um, I guess, pages on this tier list. You can kind of see like a slight difference between where like the, uh, the text is made and stuff like that. So uh, just keep that in mind. Overall, I think it's going to be a pretty fun one to do. It's just it's gonna be a nice time so we're gonna start it off just nice and quick on this page right here in the hard past here where i decided not to fill it up as much just because i didn't really feel like i needed to talk too much crap trash on a bunch of cards so uh we're here with my man terry cummings just has jump shot 36 one of the slowest jumpers you could possibly have in the game and it's just not one that i'm really all that excited about using or going against or anything of that it just really nah terry cummings not good um, my man Rick Barry also has another one of the worst jumpers that we have in the game right now in that jump shot 18 even on quick It is just absolutely horrible. There's no reason to use this Rick Barry just not a W uh, Luis Gola and Leon Poe both have uh, Set shot 16 on normal. I actually kind of like set shot 16 But Luis Gola probably is one of the worst cards that I've ever used in any version of my team It is crazy like up there with Sapphire Horse Grant from last year and Leon Poe uh, has no ability to shoot, has a normal timing jumper for a diamond at <laughs> nearly June. Literally do not understand what they were thinking about with that one. Uh, Jonathan Isaac, I actually really like. Super fun card, obviously. Uh, was a OG Sapphire, one of the best cards in the game. It's just problem is now super outdated. Jay Lucas is just no reason. Like, literally no reason. Ray Allen normal, no thank you. Um, and Dougie Fresh, usually love Doug McDermott cards, but his jumper on normal is so baited. It is literally so bad. Uh, really just not a whole lot of reason to use Doug McDermott over a lot of the other power forward, small forward that we have in the game right now. Like, just literally no reason. Uh, starting off our still leagues interior, we got the man Bob Pettit. Uh, Pettit actually is a pretty solid card if we're being uh, honest in the grand scheme of things. I mean, he's got set shot 14, I think, on quick, but fundamental dribble style just doesn't really do anything too crazy that other power forwards don't, uh, so I just don't really care. Sean Kent has a just super baited jumper. It's just one of those jumpers that is just easy to easy to defend, and that's just not really what we're looking for. Um, is a great slasher, though, and can rebound pretty well, uh, so you got to give him a little bit of a shout out for that, but it, you know, it's not really the most insane thing. Uh, so it doesn't have to be too much shot, uh, just a little bit. Uh, Patrick Williams, this Emerald is actually super good. I mean, the guy's a great defender. He can even shoot a little bit and finish pretty well. Uh, for an Emerald, he's great, but obviously, like, saying for an Emerald obviously means that he's not the best of the best cards. Uh, Pascal Siakam just has 75 on normal, uh, but it has good defense. Obi Toppin also has 75 on normal, but... Uh, it's a little bit of a dunker. It's kind of just a pick your poison kind of card. But now that we have the uh, Dark Matter Siakam, I don't really think there's too much of a reason to be using this uh, Opal 1D. 100% honest with you. Uh, Maurice Lucas, basically just Draymond Green without as good of shooting and... What am I trying to think about? Oh, and his jumper on the normal timing. I was trying to figure out what else uh, he had a negative from. It. I just literally could not remember for the life of me for a bit. But it's still a decent card. He's just outdated, man. Uh, Kenny Martin does have jump shot 75 on quick, but I really didn't think it was enough to put him up there when he just obviously is a card that's been out here a while. It's a fundamental dribble style. He doesn't really jump out as like anything insane. He is a good card. He's going to be a fun card for most people. I just don't really feel like you should be using him even over some of the guys we got him pretty damn solid, let alone just like in general right now. Uh, Evan Mobley, great defender, but just has a very slow, very beta jumper. He's obviously going to be really fun to use. Um, I would much rather use a shooting guard, though, even though he also can't really dribble too well. Uh, but still excited because I think once we get a Dark Matter Evan Mobley, an Invincible Evan Mobley, something like that, we are going to get a very, very good card in my team. It's just this Opal is outdated and a slow jumper. Uh, Elvin Hayes. Now that I think Satchat 16 guy does have it on quick, which is obviously pretty nice. Um, only problem is Elvin Hayes just literally can't shoot at all. <laughs> Don't really see a reason to use him. Uh, Dennis Robin, one of the best defenders when he dropped at the time, and still is going to be an absolutely amazing defender, but probably has one of the most baited jumpers in the game with set shot 17, I think on normal timing. Uh, literally horrible. No reason to use that. Dennis was fun when he first dropped because he was so good defensively, but now really shouldn't be running him too much. 
Uh, starting off our pretty damn solid tier, we got the man Brandon Clark for a free amethyst, absolutely insane, has jump shot 22 on very quick, is a great all around defender, has really good finishing as well, his post game is super solid, and has a nice 80 shot 3, you do have to add a sniper to him to make him pretty good, but for an amethyst, he is honestly super solid. Uh, AC Green, better than I expected, very quick jumper, has all around good defense, his post game is super solid, he's got nice finishing, can even stretch the floor out and hit some threes, better than I expected out of an AC Green card, I thought he was going to be kind of a bum. But he's actually pretty good. And if I'm not mistaken, wasn't AC Green a guy who just like played like every damn game? <laughs> I'm mistaken. Apologize, but I feel like that I could be mixing some things up. But that's what I remembered. Uh, next up is Zion Williamson, uh, the hero of Zion that we are getting challenges basically every few days to do. And I'm gonna be 100% honest with you. This Zion is so much better than I thought he would be. I thought that Zion was gonna be nah <laughs> when I, saw, I i'm not gonna lie when i saw it i thought the zion really wasn't gonna be that good uh but after getting him he's actually really solid has his zion jumper on very quick the guy's actually a really good shooter he's pretty fast as well he is a little bit undersized for a power forward but he has great shooting he's got really solid defense the rebounding that zion brings is also super solid i really do not like the card art but i got i i can't lie i'm actually a pretty good fan of this opal zion i'm not using him too much but he is fun uh, throw Bailey, jump shot 22 on uh, the quick timing, which is obviously always going to be pretty good. It's just, you know, fundamental dribble style. He's just kind of outdated. He's not worth the 1,000 tokens. Uh, Serge Ibaka, I decided to still put here because I really love Serge. Um, yes, he's a bit undersized now for a uh, stretch five, uh, but I don't know. He's still pretty fun. I love jump shot 26, especially on that quick timing. He just feels really good. He feels smooth. He just feels like a card that I like to run into. Okay, Serge Ibaka is just my type of player, and I love the jumper. Uh, Penny Hardaway is fun as a triple threat point guard because he has 10 on very quick. Uh, but as a power forward, he just kind of lacks the strength to really go with the big dogs. If you run into somebody using a double center lineup, you are screwed if you have this Penny Hardaway on the roster. Uh, it's just kind of how it works because obviously Penny's a point guard, uh, but he's still super shifty. He still has great dribbling animation, so he can still be fun and like triple threat. Uh, Kenny and Martin, I put him in pretty damn solid because I actually like this card. He has the Gordon jumper on very quick and is actually super solid. Um, the main problem with Kenny and Martin is that he's going to be a 6'5 power forward or small forward. Um, so you really only count him at the small forward, so it's just a little bit tough there. Uh, Juwan Howard, actually pretty fun card. He's got good shooting. He's got a great jumper. He's got some pretty decent defense. His play makes pretty good. Just a pink diamond. So he's just you know, a little a little bit behind some of the times of evil. But I still actually really like this Juwan Howard. And uh, you got to give him some bonus points for punching out that coach earlier in, in the year, man. I mean, some dubs there. Uh, Grant Williams does have jump shot five on quick, which is a little bit weird to me that some of his, like, the cards that dropped at the same time got very quick and he only got quick, but it's whatever. Grant Williams is a 3 and D menace. Love him as a small forward. He's a great all-around card. If you are doing these playoff moments, you've probably used this Grant Williams. He's actually super solid, man. Uh, Jalen Williams, same thing. Basically just a 6'9", small forward version of Michael Jordan, and that's super dope. Really good card. If you like the MJ jumper, you're going to like this Jalen Johnson, but he's obviously a diamond. So there are some better options, but he's still super good. Um, next up, Danielle Marshall. Jump shot 9 and very quick. Actually gross. Uh, remember back in like 2K17, jump shot 9 was like the jumper to use. It was broken. It was so good. Um, and Danielle Marshall kind of reminds you of that a little bit. So I have a little bit of um, nostalgia for him. But good rebounder. He can finish well. Defense is pretty all right. Uh, but I actually really like jump shot 9. So I put him in pretty damn solid. Uh, Danny Manning. I decided to drop a tier down. Um, Danny does have jump shot 4. I think I'm quick. I don't think he's on very quick. And he is a pretty good all around guy. Um, it's just now that we're getting super juiced cards, you know, with like quick dribbles on and stuff like that, that's what I mean by juiced, that Danny Manning just kind of isn't as exciting to me anymore. I still think he's really fun and I do like using the card. He's just not as good as he was, I don't know, when he first came out with the Bracket Buster spot. Like that's just my opinion. Um, you can disagree with it for sure, but that's that's how I'm feeling about Danny Manning. Um, and I think we have a few more on this next page right here in the Pretty No Solid. We do uh, Chris Weber, who has uh, Jump Shot 22 on quick. Uh, Weber is obviously a nice kind of um, slashing, playmaking, rebounding kind of power forward, and he's really good at that. It's just with that fundamental style, and again, just like Danny Manning, I just don't think he's got what it takes to hold up long term in 2K anymore. He's a fun card, he's a decent card, he was free, which is nice, just nothing crazy. Um, Christian Leitner, I am a big fan of, I can't lie. I love Jump Shot 31. The fact that he's got it on the quick timing is great. He's an awesome post guy. His defense is also really good. His finishing is great. But I do understand that that's me liking Christian Leitner and not necessarily a um, evidence of him being an amazing card. So I decided to throw him in the pretty damn solid here, trying to like ignore my bias just a little bit. I may not have done it as great, but you know, there he is, and I like him. 
Um, so we can start off the baby demon tier with my man Boris D out, who is basically just Delino Gallinari. He's got that jumper and he's got it on, I'm pretty sure, quick timing. Um, Boris Diaw is just one of those guys who is stupid good at literally everything in the game. Like, there's not a flaw in Boris Diaw's game, and it's just nice to see. If you need him to play make, he's got it. If you need him to play some great defense on anybody uh, besides a super tall center, he's got it. He's got a great jump shot, so he can finish those really well. His finishing the basket is nice. He's just all around a good card. Uh, Bull Bull is just good because the guy's glitchy. Brook Lopez base on normal timing obviously isn't ideal, but if we're being honest, the guy is still absolutely amazing. Bull Bull is great. Just just not as good. He's not good enough to be in the team. That's how it is. Uh, Aaron Gordon is basically the Kenya Martin Jr. I'm saying that just because a lot of you guys have probably used him. That actually can uh, compete <laughs> essentially because he's actually tall. Uh, that's really the only the only thing that I got for that. He's just he's taller, so he can actually do a little something. Uh, Tim Duncan is a great defender. I mean, the guy can literally do whatever the hell he wants, and I think it's just I don't know. It's fun. In general, I like him. I think he's a cool card. I don't know. I've had a lot of fun with him. I'm I'm probably not uh, hyping this up too much. But Tim Duncan is just one of those guys who does everything super, super well for me. And it's just always been really nice. His defense is good. His rebounding is great. The post game is good. Jumper, I actually really like it. He's just all around great. Uh, Thon Maker's a 7-foot small forward. I mean, that's obviously a W. But he does have a beta jumper, I will admit that, which does make it a little bit tough to consistently use Thon Maker uh, a lot of times. But his defense is so damn good, and finishing at the basket is so damn good that I feel like you can ignore him most of the time. Uh, Scotty Barnes, after Evo, gets the John Wall jumper on very quick, and is essentially like the Michael Finley Dark Matter that you get from Unlimited. Um, just can't play the shooting guard position, and that is a damn good card. Uh, so Scotty Barnes, still one of my favorite guys um, to use right now in the game by far. Uh, Rudy Gay is obviously Rudy Gay. Haven't got his jumper on quick, has some of the best dribbling moves in the game, and is actually kind of different on defense. All around, uh, Rudy Gay is still a great super top tier card because his bucket getting ability is just awesome. Uh, Kyle Kuzma has jump shot 80 on very quick. If you've used it, it's actually a really nice jumper. Uh, nice timing. I will say this Kuzma actually rebounds super well. Um, it just feels like a really nice card out there on the court. I do kind of like a guy like Lamar Odom a little bit better for my small forward, but Kuzma is still super nice. Uh, Kevin Love, I just like his jumper. I just think it's so easy to time. Love has great rebounding. His post game is also good. His uh, interior defense is super solid as well. Sometimes can lack on the uh, perimeter, but the interior defense that he has is also pretty solid. And again, it's just it's the smooth, it's the butter jumper. I just like him. Uh, Julius Randle is kind of like a uh, Thon Maker that only plays the power forward. Did get an upgrade after we all kind of complained about him. So he got some extra Hall of Fame badges and it actually makes him a pretty solid all around card now. Uh, super fun offensively, can dribble really well too i just i don't know i think he's a uh, a really fun card i just i like this julius randall also like josh smith he's got the lopez base on quick and if you guys have used a josh smith card this year you know that what i'm saying is just absolute facts there is just something that josh smith has on the defensive end that not many other cards do he just feels great there and his dunking is absolutely insane there's just there's very few cards that i've used that have played defense better than josh smith um one of those may be jonathan isaac um, does have jump shot 70 on it quick, has great defense, is 6 foot 11 to play the small forward, which is just a great height to have out there and just never really feels like he's putting you in bad positions or as a negative out there on the court. Jonathan Isaac, just a great, great, great card. I'm going to have a few more here. Yeah, Dorian Finney-Smith has basically a dark matter Jason Tatum for free. He's getting the baby team in tier out there. Uh, we have Dolph Chase, who does have jump shot 38 on the quick timing. And uh, shifty dribble style feels super nice out there. Great catch and shoot jumper. The guy's got a great post game, great rebounding, great defense. Uh, so he gets the baby demon. Danny Ferry's got jump shot 98. I think only on, I think it actually might be on very quick. But I feel like it's only on quick. But either way, Ferry's got base 98, which is obviously most people's kind of favorite jumper. A lot of people love it. Um, and Ferry is obviously super good for that. I've personally had a lot of fun using Danny Ferry. He's not been like absolutely insane, but I've, I've liked him. And he's 6'10 and moves pretty well out there on the court. Uh, so you got to give him a, a little bit of a shout out for that. And then we get my man Chris Boucher. Now, Boucher may be a surprise to a lot of people, especially the fact that I'm putting him like this high up on the list. Um, some people may not agree with that, but I'm personally a massive fan of this Chris Boucher. He's got jump shot 15 on very quick and is a great like 6'10 power forward. Just feels really good on the court and I've never really 
I don't know. I've never really hated a Chris Boucher card, which is weird. Um, got him in the draft mode, and it, he just felt super nice. His finishing was good. The jumper was absolutely money, especially with the Hall of Fame sniper. He's got great size. He can dribble a little bit as well. Rebounding is really good. All around, I've just, I've really liked this Chris Boucher card. I think more people need to try him out because he's stupid cheap as well and has a great budget power forward. Um, and that brings us to our final tier, the top tier, the Demons tier, where everybody is going to be having themselves just an absolutely uh, splendid time. And I've actually loved a lot of the cards that we got out here. Starting off with Bob Nedelecki, the base or set shot 25 base player um, who is just absolutely disgusting out there in, in the My Team streets. Um, Nedelecki, set shot 25 is just one of those jumpers you've probably never used unless you have Bob and you realize why it is so good when you have Bob on your team. It's just a broken jumper. It does everything that like almost Lucas does and it's just honestly kind of insane. I've had a lot of fun using uh, Bob and a ton of hatred going against him, uh, which is always just a little bit annoying. He's just literally good at everything and has a broken jumper. Uh, the next is my man Blake Griffin. As the Blake jumper on very quick, one of the best slashes that you'll find at his size. He was super nice, has great defense. His rebounding is also insanely good as well. Like all around, he's just, again, another one of those cards who's super good this year. Blake definitely feels better than he did last year. Uh, Antoine Jameson is the Brook Lopez base on very quick, and the guy just feels super good. Um, on a court, there's just not really a situation where Antoine James is really bad. He just feels nice. He's got all around that great defense. He's got great finishing. He's got great literally everything and one of the most money jumpers in the game. I mean, it doesn't get too much better than that, for being honest. Uh, Amari Stoudemire is a basically a six foot ten like Harden with his Amari jumper. I'm not gonna lie, I'm not the biggest fan of the Amari uh, base, but with that uh, James Harden, you know, escape and just really good defense, uh, really really good defense and finishing i really haven't found a reason to dislike this amari sotomayor at all a lot of people love him a lot of people have fun with him he's just a great card uh zion after the evo gets jump shot three on very quick the best jumper literally like in the game right now and it's frustrating to go against um zion just moves different rebounds stupid well and now with jump shot three on very quick just feels absolutely insane on the court there really isn't a way to not like this zion when you're using him unless he's not evo uh, next up may be a wild pick to uh, some people, but it's Tyler Hansbrough's Pink Diamond. Now, if you Evo up this Hansbrough, he get, basically turns into Dolph Shays with more Hall of Fame badges and I think the very quick jumper. But if you add the uh, duo along with the Evo for this Tyler Hansbrough, you get a 43 Hall of Fame badge Pink Diamond. Or not Pink Diamond, Galaxy Opal, essentially, which is just honestly broken. Tyler Hansbrough is absolutely disgusting. That Danny Green and Hansbrough duo is just out of this world. And you put those together and it makes for one of the best power forward centers in the game. I'm telling you right now, this Tyler Hansbrough card is absolutely disgusting with a capital D. The guy is like seriously so good. Like so, so, so good. Uh, next, my man Lamarcus Aldridge. Now, Lamarcus Aldridge is um, a card that most people probably haven't experienced uh, too much just because he's, uh, I think, a fault reward or something like that, but absolutely gross. Brook Lopez base is money. Same thing with Antoine Jameson. Super tall as well. I've used Aldridge a lot this year. Rebounds really well. Plays defense really well and just all around a super solid card. Some people may disagree and want him down a tier, but I've actually had a lot of fun with uh, Aldridge, and he hasn't really failed me really at all in the times that I've used him. So, you know, I'm giving him a little bit of, a, little bit of a shout out here. Next up is Kevin Garnett. Garnett has, I think, 58 on very quick. Really good jumper. But the reason to use Garnett is because the guy is a godly defender. Um, feels super fast as well, especially for his size. And it's just a great card. But really, it's for the defense. Uh, Jermaine O'Neal has 94, I think, on very quick. And is just, for some reason, one of the best power forwards just in my team right now. And it's just, it feels wrong like it, it shouldn't be the case but it is the case i don't know how to explain it you know if you've used jermaine o'neal that he's one of the best cards in the game and that's really all you need <laughs> he's gross uh james worthy out here six nine jump shot 22 on very quick the guy's got a great post game and just all around a great card just is one of those guys who i've gone against so many times and used so many times he really shouldn't be as good as he is in the post but he just feels different and is super nice james worthy great card uh Giannis, do i really need to explain it i mean it's invincible hero Giannis whatever you want to call it it's basically the same card it, it's just it's crazy uh what this Giannis on the Kubo can do when you just let him run around and do whatever the hell he wants I mean the guy is just good um next Fernando Martin uh Fernando Martin one of the new like return of heroes cards um was I think goaded in Spain or something like that where he played before he went to the NBA where he wasn't insanely good but 
Fernando, 6'9", small forward, power forward with a 7'1 wingspan. He's got the Rudy Gay jumper on very quick. Quick dribble style, the Steve Francis sides up, the Scotty behind the back, long athlete, great dunking, his defense is crazy, basically an invincible when you look at the stats. The card is just absolutely amazing. Give him a three-point coach boost, and he's one of the best cards you'll ever use in my team this year, which is, uh, you know, it's a dub. Um, and then we got, I think, like two or three left here. Yeah, Draymond Green, Drake Nowitzki, and Chris Bosh. Now, Draymond Green is an interesting one because he's one of my favorite cards. Um, has jump shot 12 on very quick and just feels like one of those guys who you just always want on your team because his defense is good, his playmaking is good, his finishing is good, his shooting is good. He's literally just good at everything. Uh, Dirk Nowitzki is one that I actually, I have never actually used too much. So I went to the uh, roster creator, you know, edited Dirk's to try to jump around very quick. And it's better than I thought it would be. It's actually really not that slow at all. Dirk's fadeaway is absolute cheese. And Dirk actually feels super smooth. He moves really well on the court this year, which is a lot different than we've been able to say. So I'm not going to lie. Invincible Dirk, I'm still going to leave in the demons tier. Some people might disagree, and that's perfectly fine. You can move him down to baby demon. Not really going to upset me at all. Um, and then Chris Bosh just has jump shot 70 on very quick. Basically just feels like a... a uh, Another version of Jonathan Isaac. There he is. Global <laughs> Jonathan Isaac, uh, which is super good, super nice, just with a better post game and better rebounding and finishing, which is a really good card. So uh, that's where my power forward tier list ends off here. We have, uh, again, two pages, so make sure you check them out. Uh, like the video, subscribe, all that wonderful stuff. And uh, hope you guys are great today, and I'll see you in the next video. Buy it cheap and safe NBA 2K22 MT at NBA2King.com. You can use code EXCAPART, that's E X C A P A R, for 5% off your entire purchase.